Today, I'd like to give you a brief overview of the current Mario movie in theaters. This movie follows the adventures of two Italian-American brothers, Mario and Luigi, who start a plumbing business in Brooklyn but end up in different fantasy worlds after being sucked into a warp pipe. Mario lands in the Mushroom Kingdom and teams up with Princess Peach, Toad, and some primate allies to defeat the evil Koopa King Bowser, who seeks to marry Peach and destroy the kingdom using a powerful superstar. Meanwhile, Luigi ends up in the Dark Lands and is imprisoned by Bowser to threaten Mario. The movie features action-packed sequences, hilarious moments, and references to the iconic video game franchise. After the overview of the current Mario movie in theaters, I've gathered some of the most important news summaries from four different sources. So, sit back, relax, and let's dive into the latest happenings from around the world. Firstly, I will start with the news from the New York Times. Officials raised interest rates above 5% for the first time. Since 2007. The quarter point increase may be the central bank's last. 4 now. The repeated attacks on the Ukrainian capital and a strike in Kherson. That left 23 dead, fueled concerns about Russia's next moves. A text message reveals a lot about the former Fox News host's racial ideology, our critic writes. The authorities said that the 24-year-old suspect in the attack at a medical building had been caught after an extensive manhunt that lasted several hours, nearly six years before Adam Sullivan lost his job with Governor Kathy. Hochul, a Democratic group, fired him amid sexual harassment complaints. From colleagues. A long-shot Democratic effort to force a debt limit increase to the floor hinges on at least five GOP defections. These are considered the likeliest. The lawyer said he would call no witnesses to rebut E. Jean Carroll's account of being assaulted by Donald Trump. The civil case could go to a jury next week. Critics say the Biden administration and its partners were naive about the intentions of two rival generals and failed to empower civilian leaders. Jordan Neely died Monday after a man held him in a chokehold. On Wednesday, the medical examiner's office said it was a homicide. Pi, an AI tool that debuted this week, is a twist on the new wave of chatbots. It assists people with their wellness and emotions. Followed by the news from the media outlet Financial Times. EPP opposes policies put forward by Commission President Ursula von der Leyen, one of their own members. Domestic consumption surges over Labor Day holiday, but outbound. Travel has been slower to recover. Peter Ben Emberek, scientist who led probe into origins of virus, faced disciplinary action over two complaints. Kiev denies any involvement in alleged drone strike on Kremlin as Moscow vows retaliation. U.S. Central Bank warns recent banking turmoil is likely to weigh on economic activity. Former Brazilian president's residents searched an investigation into Alleged falsification of immunization records. J. Powell hints U.S. Central Bank has done enough to tame inflation. After 14-month campaign, Gaddock became one of the world's largest vessel owners in little over a year, transporting crude to India for Rosneft. Commission Vice President welcomes step forward but warns of outstanding reforms needed for Budapest to unlock funding. After that, I will present the BBC News. It comes a day after Russia accused Ukraine of attempting to assassinate Vladimir Putin. BBC reporters on attitudes to the monarchy in three nations where Charles is still head of state. Anusa Luangsafam's family initially told people he was dead in a bid. To protect him, activists say. Bilawal Bhutto Zardari is the first Pakistani foreign minister to visit India since 2011. Investors are suing the Swiss government over its handling of the takeover of Credit Suisse. 
the athletes are demanding the arrest of their federation chief. Alleging Sexual Abuse Domestic travel in the country jumped sharply during the five-day May. Day Break The second such drug in a year raises hopes we can start treating. Dementia Ajay Bunga takes over as the anti-poverty lender faces pressure to do. More to tackle climate change. The BBC's analysis editor looks at the footage circulating on Russian. Social media. And finally, I will discuss the news from the Japan Times. Japanese crown prince and princess depart Japan for King Charles III. Coronation. MSDF chief calls for closer naval cooperation amid growing security. Challenges Japanese and Kenyan leaders agree to boost economic and energy. Cooperation Yellen to travel to Japan for G7 finance ministers meeting. COVID-19 tracker, Tokyo logs 2,187 new coronavirus cases. LDP heavyweight Motegi vows stronger global south ties in Blinken. Meeting Russia races to replace Western technology to boost gas exports. The remarkable rehabilitation of Camilla, queen consort. Bolsonaro denies wrongdoing after police raid in COVID probe. Finnish newspaper hides news for Russians in video game. That's a wrap for today's international news highlights. Hope you all got the lowdown on what's happening around the world and that your listening skills have reached new heights. Catch you all tomorrow, see you!